Today, we're going to be looking at this Mad Cat's Rat, where they've gone and cut off its tail and made it wireless. On the front of the box, it says Mad Cat's, it's the Rat DWS. It is a modular gaming mouse with unlimited dual wireless. On the side of the box, it's got the Mad Cat's logo as well as a QR code. On the back, it tells you information about 60 million clicks, the dual wireless system where you can use Bluetooth or use a dongle and use 2.4 gigahertz wireless. It's really up to you and some information about the switches and so forth. So inside the box, or should I say sleeve, there is another box which has got a phone insert inside. Then you've got a plastic tray which has got the mouse attached to it. Now on the back of that plastic tray, you've got a plastic bag with manual and another manual and stickers. And then you've got another plastic bag with yet again more bits inside. So this time it's the fittings, what would go on the side, which you can change. We'll look at those more closely in a few minutes. Then you've got another plastic bag with another fitting for the roughly your palm area. And then in another plastic bag, you've got a miniature brush, for, I'm presuming for cleaning it. And then a fitting what you'd use actually to, it's a bit like a screwdriver. It will let you take the sides off and interchange them with those ones. So overall, do we really need all this plastic inside the box? You've got foam, plastic, 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 and none of it's really reusable. So again, that's a complete waste. To be honest, you probably all you need is one piece of plastic to keep all those bits in, and you could potentially put that in a cardboard tray. So if you haven't gathered already, this is a wireless gaming mouse, which has got a very high DPI of 16,000 DPI, and it's also got a poor 33 35 db optical sensor with up to 300 hours of battery life it's got a 2.4 g wireless option on there so that means you've got a little receiver which would plug into your pc or laptop so you can use it or you can use it via bluetooth you've got durable switches on there guaranteed up to 60 million clicks two millisecond response time and again it's highly customizable by changing the parts out and adjusting it to fit your hand. Right, RGB lighting first. Well, in basics, there is no lighting on this with the exception of a little red light on the side just to let you know it's on, or I'm presuming that's what it's there for. Otherwise, there's no lighting on this at all. On the bottom, you've got slide feet. They are very small little ones here, so there's five in total, but it does allow it to glide with ease across your table, which is good. And then you've obviously got the sensor on the bottom, which was, does 16,000 DPI and it's a poor 3335 DB. We've got 14 buttons all together on here, so they're in some unique places as well. So you've got your standard left right button on your mouse. You've got your central wheel, which you can press down as a button, and obviously it works as a wheel as well. But you can actually pull the wheel to your left or to the right to make it do another two button options as well. You've got a central button there. You've also got a button here, which is used mainly for usually changing DPI and stuff like that. You've got a precision button here, which basically slows down the DPI of the mouse. So if you're doing something like typing in a game, it lets it uh, aim a lot better. Can be a bit, take a bit of getting used to in all honesty, but it has that option there. You've also got the backwards and forwards buttons here, which are usually used for browsers where you go back and forward and so forth. But you can again, customize all this in the software. Then you've got another wheel here, which is ideal in a lot of creativity software. Let's just say using Adobe Premiere Pro, it allows you to go left and right on the timeline, or you can obviously again program it to do other things. Otherwise, that's it pretty much for the main buttons. Okay, let's have a look at the wireless. So first of all, the wireless receiver for the 2.4G is right here. You can see it says rat on it. You just press it in and it pops out and then you can plug that into your laptop and PC so you can actually connect up wirelessly to it. Otherwise, you can connect up with Bluetooth. It's basically a little switch here. Go all the way to the front of the mouse. It allows you to connect up to Bluetooth or if you pull it all the way to the back, it allows you to use it through this. So you could have it set up on Bluetooth on one device and then using the 2.4G on another. If you set it in the center, it turns the mouse off, obviously saves your battery power. Regarding battery, where there normally is a weight on these mice is actually where the battery goes. And it is actually just a normal AA battery you would use in pretty much most things, to be honest with you, nothing special about it. So bear in mind, 
you will have to replace these so i suggest you get some rechargeable batteries or some better batteries because even though it's rated at 300 hours for the actual mouse it doesn't say you're using which type of battery this battery could only be 50 hours where if you're using something like a top end battery you could be looking at 300 plus hours okay first of all grips there is no real grips or rubber or anything like that on the actual mouse but saying that it does fit to the hand quite nicely you can add an extra side onto the mouse which would be the right hand side which does have a rubber grip on it if you wish to have that side on but we'll go into those in a bit more detail in a few minutes now you can adjust the palm part of the actual mouse to make it come back there's like a little trigger switch right here if you push that in and then okay let's try that again without it flying off so again you basically push the trigger in and then you pull it back probably not too hard but again it is quite stiff in all honesty so you do have to put a bit of pressure behind it but if you pull too hard obviously it's going to go flying off but as you can see there you can adjust it to whatever length or to a certain degree you want it so you can have it longer or shorter but again this is designed more for palm grip rather than claw grip because obviously this is designed to go in your palm right here like that now you can change the sides we'll go to those in a few seconds now you can actually replace this part as well so if you wanted to and without making it fly across the room you just hold in the lever and then pull it off there we go and you can attach this one on instead and again you have to sort of hold the lever in as you're doing it and slide it in and away you go and it's on now differences they're exactly the same shape and dimensions and tilt so i don't see any physical differences with the exception of this has got more of a probably a rubberized feel to it it's not as slippy where this one's more of just a plain plastic and it feels more slippy with that one it grips to your hand a little bit more so again down to preference which you prefer i think i'd stick with that one personally and you can also replace the sides as well now to remove the side you basically get this key type thing here you put it in the hole and just turn and it loosens it and it basically allows you to take the screw or the nut or whatever it is out there we go so it's like a screw and then that side will pop off now you can replace that side with either one of the two fittings if you wish you've got the one what's rubberized as i said before which is very similar style as that one or you've got one what's got the lip on it so you can rest your finger or your pinky finger on it when you're using the mouse and again to attach it you just basically push it onto the side for line it up get the little screw push it in the hole and then tighten it up with your key and then you've changed basically the look and the feel of the mouse there to well depending on how you want it okay quick sound test then so left mouse button right mouse button the wheel the wheel is a button the wheel to the left the wheel to the right the dpi button the middle button the back button the forward button and the precision button and as you can see the microphone is exactly 20 centimeters apart okay the software itself now so first of all you download it from their website it's pretty straightforward you click the download option and it downloads and it will ask you to plug in your adapter and put your mouse on 2.4 g once you've done that it will do a firmware update if needs be then you come to this screen here as you can see as you hover over each of the buttons it lights up red so you know which button you're going to be changing or doing anything to so you can you can divide so you can set up each of these buttons to do different things so you choose from the list that below so you can have one to for volume up you could turn for example the precision button to be volume down and whatever you want depending on what's on here you've got save multimedia buttons all sorts on there you can even make a certain key so if you wanted one of the buttons to be number five you can make it number five or a function key like f4 or whatever you want so it's pretty much drag and drop 
you've got favorites so it'll have your more common favorite ones there you can also do custom so you can create a custom command there so like a macro so it'll do lots of different things at once when you press that button so that's straightforward next button at the top is settings so you can change the mouse response the dpi it's got four presets but you can adjust the presets anywhere between 100 dpi all the way up to 16,000 dpi so you could have the preset number one Oops, sorry dragged out of the way could have preset number one as 100 dpi preset number two is 1600 three let's just say at around about 6000 and then number four you could have all the way up to 16000 dpi obviously you need to press apply after you've also got a drop down which allows you to play with the dpi switch so you can do lots of different things on there as well you've got dpi up dpi down and so forth You've also got precision aim, so you can see how much the DPI is on that one as well. And again, you can scroll that up and down to do different things. You've got poll rate as well, so you can go all the way from 125 all the way up to 1000. And then you've got angle snap as well, so you can adjust that if you wish, either on or off. On top of that, you've got support, which allows you to download drivers and software, which you've already done anyway, so you probably wouldn't need that. And then you've got contact us if you're obviously having any problems. I'm guessing that's a setting button down the bottom. Yeah, you can create new profiles using that button at the bottom left. So you can set up one profile. Let's just say you're using Premiere Pro or Photoshop or something like that. So the buttons do one thing, and then you can set one up for another game, and maybe even the other two profiles you could set up for different games or different tasks or like for example surfing the internet and stuff like that and then you can swap between those as you wish so in conclusion we've got ourselves a fairly good mouse it's a wireless mouse it's for gaming and it does everything it says it should on the tin the only catch is, is i've been seeing this same design for 10 years it's as if the manufacturer is stuck in a time loop i know the manufacturer's have actually changed as in the company's been went bust basically and got bought out by someone else and it's moved from the states to somewhere like hong kong but the catch is is the mouse really has not changed in 10 years i know this they call them the rats and that's the design but you'll look at other manufacturers mice and you'll find that over the years when they bring new versions of the same ones out they do change the design slightly where this other than probably the paint job it looks pretty much identical. There doesn't seem to be any new features or anything like that, with the exception of the battery. All they've done is taken out the bit where you used to put the weights and replaced it with a battery compartment. And it's not even a rechargeable battery. It's just like a AA battery, so it's nothing special. You can't recharge it, can't plug it in or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, it's nice having the option of Bluetooth as well as obviously the 2.4 gigahertz on there as well if you wanted to plug it in via the wireless to a laptop or a pc in conclusion it's a nice customizable and adjustable mouse but it does have a few flaws another one of the flaws or i won't say is a flaw i won't say it was designed that way is the weight because of the battery in there it actually weighs 145 grams. Bear in mind that's when the battery's in it. If you take the battery out, the advertised weight is 113, and it does weigh that, but the catch is you need a battery in it for it to work. So in reality, it's 145 grams, which for mice is a bit on the heavy side. Personally, I like a heavy mouse, but this is quite heavy for a mouse. So in conclusion, I must say, yes, I do recommend it, but it would be nice to see something a little bit new from them, slightly different design styles, some new features, other than it just being wireless. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're interested in seeing other Mad Cats products we've reviewed in the past, then click the box just up here. Otherwise, if you want to see other mice we've reviewed in the past, then click this box just down here. Otherwise, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.